heart went This is our fourth method in solving for systems of linear equation and this method is known as the Gauss-Jordan reduction. So for our example in Gauss-Jordan reduction, I use the same set of example we've been using for the past three methods we've been using. And I simply copied the solution we've had using Gaussian elimination because Gauss-Jordan reduction is simply a continuation of the, Gauss, of the Gaussian elimination solution. Specifically that, from an augmented matrix instead of transforming to a row echelon form, this time under Gauss-Jordan reduction, the augmented matrix will be transformed to a reduced row echelon form. And what's the difference? So yung, rows, yung row echelon form natin, nagmukha siyang upper triangular matrix, tama ba? Okay. For reduced row echelon form, the idea here is, dapat daw po yung ating leading coefficients are the only non-zero element in that particular row. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, in the first row, where the leading element is 2, dapat siya lang yung non-zero. Ibig sabihin, negative 1, 3 should be 0, 2. Also, in the second row, negative 9, siya lang dapat yung non-zero. So, 7 should be 0. And here, Ito dapat, ito lang yung non-zero natin. Pero this time, instead of retaining any non-zero number, kailangan yung non-zero leading coefficient natin should be equivalent to 1. In short, ang mangyayari dito is, 0, 0, 0, the main diagonal will be 1, 1, 1, and um, the elements or the entries above the main diagonal will be 0 also. And that will look as if it's an identity matrix. So in short, our target will be, from this augmented matrix to transform it papuntang identity. Okay? So, to, to continue the solution, so, to continue our solution from the Gaussian elimination, we finished until here. So, this element here, I'm going to transform this to 1. Kasi yung main diagonal daw natin, na non-zero, na siya lang dapat yung non-zero, ay dapat equivalent na sa 1 to make this an identity matrix. So for that, I will get a new third row ulit. And to make this one, I'll simply divide R3, the third row, by 44. So no changes on the first two rows yet. I'll copy them. You'll get 2, negative 1, 3, 5. 0, negative 9, 7, and 3. 0, the third row will be divided by 44. So 0 divide 44 is 0. 0 divide 44 is 0. 44 divide 44 is 1. And negative 84 divide 44 is negative 21 over 11. Next. The next target is to make this 0. So, parang ang nangyari, ang magiging sequence ngayon natin dito, we'll start at the left. So, nag-start tayo dito. First column muna, ba? We start at first column. So, ito, ginawa nating zeros. Next is second column. So, ito naman. After that, we transform this to 1. And then, pabalik, dito naman tayo mag-start. So, yung symmetry. Parang symmetric lang. Okay. If I'm going to make the zero, the best reference rule would be the third row. Since... Simple na yung mga values dito. 0, 0, 1 na lang siya instead of using the first row pa, ba? Dito ko ngayon ibabase. If I'm going to change my second row, the formula I'll base sa third row. So, if I if I have the second row minus, since ito yung target ko, si 7, kailangan maging 7 ito. I'll multiply the third row by 7 din. So, 7 R3 yun. So, I have R2, 7, minus 7 times R3, 7. That would be 0. And then, I'll apply this to the whole row. Okay. In the same manner, pwede ko na rin paltan to. My target here is 3. Parang yung ginawa natin dito. By columns muna tayo. So, third column muna tayo. I can replace the first row. I'll get R1 prime. That would be R1 minus times 3 ko ngayon. Diba? 3 to. So, I'll multiply this by 3. R3. Okay, I'll apply the formula. I'll, I'll come up with the new I'll come up with the new augmented matrix. So let's start with the first row first. And that would be 2 2 minus 3 times 0. Diba? 
First row, third row tayo. 2 minus 3 times 0, and that would be 2. Negative 1 minus 3 times 0 is still negative 1. 3 minus 3 times 1. 3 minus 3 times 1 would be 0. And then I'll have 5 minus 3 times negative 21 over 11. Let me get my calculator for that. So I will have R1 is 5 minus 3 times R3. And that's negative 21 over 11 equals... That would give me 118 over 11. Next, let, let's proceed on solving for the, se the changes in the second row. So that would be R2 minus 7 times R3. So that will still be 0. We have negative 9 minus 7 times 0. That's still negative 9. We have 7 minus 7 times 1. That would be 0. And then we have R, uh, R2, which is 3, minus 7 times R3. So let's get our calculators for that. You have second row is 3, minus 7 times R3, which is negative 21 over 11. And that gives us 180 over 11. And then there will be no changes for the third row. So I'll copy that as 0, 0, 1. Negative 21 over 11. Next, before I proceed on transforming this to a zero element or entry, I'll make the middle term or A, what's this? A22, I'll make A22 be equivalent to 1 first. And that is by dividing the whole second row, which means I'll get a new second row. I'll divide the whole second row by negative 9 to make it positive 1. And with that, the second row will change, but there will be no changes on the first and third rows. I'll copy them. We have 2, negative 1, 0, colon, 118 over 11. And then we have... Um, 0, divide negative 9, still 0. Negative 9, divide negative one, 9 is positive 1. 0. And then we have 180 over 11 divided by negative 9. That will give you negative 20 over 11. And then I'll copy the third row. That would be 0, 0, 1, negative 21 over 11. Okay, we're close to making this coefficient matrix into an identity. So, for us to do that, let us transform the first row ito. This should be 0, diba? So, for that to be 0, I will refer my formula to the second row. Do not use the first row again. So, it might cause changes on these two elements, on this element. So, on this element. So, let's use the second row. So, if I'm going to change my first row, if I will get a new R1, to make this 0, i-add ko na lang siya kay R2. So, that would be R1 plus R2. Negative 1 plus 1. Para maging 0 ito. Okay? Tatandaan ha, kapag gumagawa tayo ng formula, ibinabase natin yung formula dun sa element na gusto nating baguhin. So, since gusto kong baguhin si negative 1, gagawin ko siyang 0, yung katapat niya, in terms of columns, doon ako magbabase. So, ang pinakamadaling gamitin is, of course, ito. Bakit? Kasi kapag ginamit mo si first row, maaapektuhan si itong element na to. Mawawala yung pagka-zero niya. So, let's do that. I will have a new first row. And that would be sum of first and second rows. So, pag a din daw to. 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay. 118 over 11 plus negative 20 over 11. That's 98 over 11. And then no changes on the second and third row. So that would be 0, 1, 0. Negative 20 over 11. And 0, 0, 1. Negative 21 over 11. After that, I will have this leading coefficient to be 
equivalent to 1. So, para matransform ko yan, I will again have a new R1. And that is simply R1, the first row, divided by 2, just so we can transform this to 1. So, I'll apply this to the whole row. And that will lead to 2 divide 2, which is 1. 0 divide 2 is 0. 0 divide 2 is 0. 98, divide, 98 over 11 divide 2 is 49 over 11. And then copy the remaining rows. We have 0, 1, 0. It's negative 20 over 11. And 0, 0, 1. That's negative 21 over 11. And as you can notice, these are our answers, diba? In the previous three methods we've used. But um, to show you why, you're going to transform the augmented matrix back papunta sa matrix form niya. And the matrix form of this is that you have an identity 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, the coefficient multiplied to its set of variables x, y, z to be equivalent to the matrix of constants that you have. And that is 49 over 11, negative 20 over 11, and negative 21 over 11. After that, we're going to do multiplication. So we have 1x plus 0y plus 0z. So you have x equals the first constant. That's 49 over 11. You have 0x plus y plus 0z, which means you have y equal to negative 20 over 11. And you have 0x, 0y plus z, which is equivalent to the last constant that we have. It's negative 21 over 11. And this gives us our answers using the Gauss-Jordan reduction.